we're here at a company called Factory 33 and honestly it is up there as being one of the cleanest and tidiest and most organized machine shops I have ever seen. This is a small company and Martin here, you're the managing director. Yeah, what a facility you've got here. You started back in 2015. Yes, we've started back in 2015. We decided to purchase two machines and start the journey to making some great components. We want to show you around, so let's take a little walk. Now, what are the components that you're making here? We make everything from aerospace parts to uh, motocross parts through medical components. Right, and you work um, for motor, uh, like F1, don't you? Do yes, parts? we supply... Um, most of the Formula One teams as well as Formula E teams. So you're talking about really high precision components? Yes, it's quite precision stuff, really serious parts. So what we're looking at here is your inspection department. Is that easy? It's so close to your machining? Yes, because it's, um, we keep it uh, extremely clean. That's why we uh, have full confidence in keeping our CMM on the shop floor. I mean, if you look in the background as well, everything is so organized, all of your parts are protected. Um, okay, this wasn't your first machine, it was your third machine you a, ever bought. Yes, that was a third machine. We brought this machine in uh, 10 months after we uh, had a big success with our first two machines. Okay then, and why this one? By the way, you just saw donuts. That's, uh, you brought those in for us, didn't you? <laughs> just to give us some energy, thank we you. We like sweet things in here. <laughs> um, this machine, um, we had this as a spare capacity. Um, it's a really small footprint and quite capable machine, so we really liked it. And you put in, um, well, you've got, are you a miller or a turner by trade? I do both. Okay. Um, I'm, quite, uh, I'm quite good on both type of machines. Um, I like and enjoy turning high quality components, but I do get the bigger bars from milling as well. All right, we've got Dean who works here as well, but he doesn't really like being on camera, so... <laughs> so a little bit shy. Here. Yeah, he's, he's turning away, isn't he? Um, so these were your first two investments? Yes, that machine and this lathe, they were first two machines we purchased. Um, we've approached um, Hayeko to get those from them. They've taken us very seriously and in the early days of the start of the company and we are dealing with them ever since. So it was the fact that you had some big plans, some big ideas to grow your business yes. from scratch, new facility, new yes. machines. That's what you wanted, didn't you? Yes, everything. When we moved in, that building was still at the time of construction. Right. Um, so we've moved in into new building, we had new machines, we've decorated in the way we wanted. Everything is organized and laid out in a, in a lean manufacturing process. And obviously this brand were the first people that really you felt took you seriously and you went, yes. they, had, they were almost on the same level as you. Yes, we've approached them about a year before we decided to open the doors, but obviously, as you can imagine, it takes a lot of effort to open an engineering company. So we've approached a number of suppliers and um, Helco were the ones who were taking us the most serious. Okay. They were quite happy and on board with uh, supporting us as a new business. So you've got the turning uh, yes. capacity, but this was your first ever machine. Yes. What have you done with this? What are, you, what are your thoughts on this machine? It's a great little piece of kit. It's got huge stroke in X and Y. Uh, we've got additional fourth axis to this machine. We can do all sorts of great components on it. Uh, through spindle coolant, all the bells and whistles of engineering world on this machine, full probing. It's okay. a full package on that machine. Full package, because I know that off camera and you've said you want a machine that you can buy that you haven't got to have options on or anything like yes, that, exactly. like a car, for example. You yeah. want it with everything on yes. from scratch. You yes. know what you're dealing with. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's very easy. I mean, uh, what you see with Herco is what you get. You'll go to the showroom and the machine, which is shown in the showroom, mm. uh, will be delivered within the same spec. And so you went for the, uh, this one, so which is the yes. VMX uh, 30 UDI. Why did you need that five axes? And it's full simultaneous, isn't yeah. it? It is a full simultaneous uh, machine. We needed five axes purely because our customer parts getting more and more advanced. And that gives us this edge of making them quicker, more accurate. Uh, and we're getting better finishes because this is a direct drive spindle machine with a 15,000 rev spindle. Tell me about that then. You are getting better finishes. Yes because of the direct drive? Yes, some machines are belt driven. This in particular is um, direct drive. So the motor sits on top of the machine and it just um, creates less vibrations. Do you really notice that difference? That's really of course, important. Yes, yes. And it, have you looked at- The finishes at... from that machine are impeccable. So what is it that you need? What is it your ultimate kind of, and I've often said this, the ultimate utopia on your parts. What are you after? What do you want your machines to do for I you? I want it to be reliable, accurate, don't move throughout the day, so the last component turns out next day in the morning exactly the same as, as the last one. 
Right, and by, last but not least, I've got to ask you, we go to so many machine shops. How do you keep this place so tidy? You just have to clean it. You just have to put your back to it, put the things back away. And uh, it helps if you're organized. If you've got the drawers and everything, got a place to live, it's easy to keep it clean. Yeah, and how many hours a day are you spending tidying this place? <laughs> honestly, honestly, we could eat the donuts off the floor, no word of a lie. But yeah, we, we, we have to keep it clean because uh, we, when we're being audited by the medical company, we have to be on our best behaviour. Yeah. We have to keep it clean and it's just what the industry demands of us. Absolutely. We're trying to operate on the level of a, a Formula One machine shop cleanliness. Yeah. That's the goal. And you're going to grow this business, aren't you? We will.